2018 season has finally wrapped up for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, they needed a lot of help today to get in the playoffs. They needed a win against the Cincinnati Bengals, and they got that 16-13. Now, they also needed a, a huge win by the, by the Cleveland Browns in Baltimore to get the win. But, unfortunately, B Cleveland came up short in Baltimore, and Baltimore ends up winning the AFC North and getting the fourth seed. Now, hey, you think I'd be mad? I'm a little upset. I'm more so just disappointed in this team and, and how it all ended, you know. I, they gave they gave us a little bit of hope, but, hey, I look I look back on the season as, and I describe it in three words. Discipline, mental toughness, and composure, which we did not do. We were not disciplined and not get things done when we need to be. I look back on four games that shaped our season. That was first game is the first game of the season against, against Cleveland in Cleveland where we t eventually tied with them. Then... <laughs> We lose to Denver at Denver when Ben throws a pick in the red zone. Then we lose. We blow a, a, a second half lead of 16 points at home against a, against the San Diego. I mean, I'm sorry. I keep the Los Angeles Chargers blow a 16 point lead and they go on to beat us. And then a few weeks back, Boswell misses a kick against the Oakland Raiders and we lose that game. Then we go back and beat New England and we suffer a tough loss against the Saints on the road, which was tough. It's been a tough season for us, man. Those four games shaped it. We win one of those games. We're in the playoffs right now. We're not even having this, this conversation. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I, I shouldn't have had to expect the Browns to have to help us get in the playoffs, you know. Kudos to them, though. Baker Mayfield is going to be a stud, by the way. But besides the point, there's a, there's a lot of things that need to be done up in Pittsburgh. We need to get things done. Mike Tomlin is still a great coach. He's never had a losing record since we've been here. We still got studs on the offensive side of the ball, like I always say, Juju Antonio. James Conner, but once again, we could have we could have had Le'Veon Bell. We came close. We should have just paid the man, in my opinion, and could have got the job done. But we we didn't pay him. We were playing down basically our third string running back, Jalen Samuels, and James Conner had a hell of a season though. Don't get me wrong, but he's not Le'Veon Bell. And James Conner missed the last three games previously because of the ankle injury, and it just came back to bite us. And the one thing about this team that I'll continue to stress is that they continue to play down to the level of their competition. When it comes down to stepping on the throw of a team, they can never do it. Like they played today down 16-13 to the Bengals just score one touchdown? Come on, man. Cincinnati's horrible. Horrible. Have Jeff Driscoll as a starting quarterback. Should have beat Oakland, one of the worst teams in the league. Just saying. But when it comes down to it, you have to be disciplined. You have to step on team's foot when it matters the most. That's what it comes down to, and that's what it's all about. And we didn't do the things necessary to put ourselves in a position to get that job done. We're going to look back on the season and look back on what could have been. And, hey, as a Steeler fan, it sucks because we are too talented. One of the most talented teams in the league, but talent only gets you so far. That work ethic has to happen, and that discipline has to happen. We just happen to have six pro bowlers. That's second most in the league behind the Los Angeles Chargers, by the way. Just saying. But, hey, Big Ben, I think he needs to step his attitude up and care and stop being so reckless with, with the ball. We need to get back to, like I continue to say, week after week, a more a more balanced dose instead of 70-30 pass run. That's not going to get the job done. Ben's getting a little up there in age. He's not getting any younger anytime soon. That Super Bowl win continues to close, like I continue to say. Now, we still have a shot if we can pick these things up. Now, Kevin Colbert has to make some changes, especially in this secondary. Now, we already know Artie Burns is a bust. Pass rush is good. We can just add some more depth to that. I like what I've seen from the upcoming LJ Fort, but got to get rid of Artie Burns. He's a complete bust. We got to improve in that secondary. We'll see. The draft's coming up in April. We'll see what happens in free agency as well, too. Only time will tell, but it's just it's just a sour taste of the season. It's just not what I was hoping for coming into this 2018 season. I was hoping we could get to the Super Bowl, but guess what? We didn't even make the playoffs, so we fell way behind short of our goals, and I was a lot of, and we fell short. It's just underachieve underachieve and underachieve and that has a change going in 2019 we'll see what happens and as a stiller fan i still love my team you know but i have to be I have to be real realistic about it and they need a reality check and this franchise does and i think they'll bounce back because they're a great franchise but we'll see what happens stiller nation we got to rise up here we go you know i'm looking forward to 2019 but i will be back with some more stiller news in the near future but hey Steeler nation we got it let's ride out